Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a exercise bike. This is a budget exercise bike that I get in the UK from Amazon. This one I paid about £200 or £220. There is always a voucher on screen that you can use it, but for my experience is every time I make a video about a product, sometimes the price do go up. Um, this kind of exercise bike, they made in China, but then the kind of a technology, or sometimes they just rebatch it as a different a brand or name. I'll try to keep the link in the description updated so you know which one you are getting. In 2022, um, we actually have magnetic resistant um, exercise bike for around 200 quid. So I'm really excited to show you what your money can buy. Now my video is not rehearsed, so I'm just going to open box, show you guys what your money can buy. Uh, I'm not going to use any tools that I have in uh, my workshop here. It does come with tools as well. So um, if you are not a um, and if you're not the competent DIY person, have a look at the video and see if you can do it yourself. If not, then you might have to ask a relative or someone who have a bit of a uh, spanner experience to help you out. If you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. So let's open the box and see what your money can buy. I mean, as usual, I managed to. Um, move this from the front door to my uh, garden shed right here but it is really really heavy so you might need to get some help uh, on paper you this thing can support up to i think 150 kilos um, i am 95 or 93 kilos at the moment and i'm six foot one Okay, so I just broke a bit of the foam. The main part of the bike is already built, but you do need to put it on the stand, put the seat on, connect up the um, display equipment, etc. The name of the company is called Neezy, N-E-E-Z-E-E, -E -E, exercise bike, and uh, made in China. But if you buy from Amazon, anything wrong, you can always return it. This is the stand or the bar for the floor. Now one thing important is that the whole um, bike is made from metal or steel, but the only protection from rust is the top coat layer. In the UK, if you are going to have your bike in the shed, um, over the winter time you do, go, you do get condensation some of the steel, they can rust purely on the condensation when the weather is cold in your shed. So make sure when you are putting the bike together, be careful on the paint works. And if you do scratch the surface of the paint, make sure you uh, touch it up with some uh, nail varnish. You know, take, take some nail varnish from your wife and cover, cover the metal. If you keep it indoor, then even better. But if you do keep it in the garden, look after it. Okay, so that is that is the seat itself. I'm going to give some close up. Um, when I look at the advert, um, this one do have a quite a wide kind of a seat position. It makes a big difference, if, especially if you are beginners and you haven't used an exercise bike before. Do try to find some which is wider, give you more support on your bottom. So this is the second part of the stand. Now, very common that they have adjustable feet. Just like any exercise bike, if, you're, if the floor is not level or if you have a floorboard which is slightly wonky, you do need to make sure that you level the bike or else when you uh, ride. I personally hate it when the bike wobbles. A lot of the time when I do exercise, I'm actually watching Netflix or some um, Japanese cartoon stuff. And when your white, when your white, when your bike wobbles, it really affects your uh, whatever that you're watching. So you've got two chrome parts here, one for the seat and one for um, the handlebar. They are the adjustable um, height to fit a different shape and size of body. What I find is they use loads of tape. It's not the 
not a big problem. At 200 pounds, you won't get anything like touch screen or you know, sensitive equipment. Um, it does measure, uh, I think, the speed of your pedal and then you got a heart rate monitor. Um, I'm gonna show you the function later on once the bike is set up. So here is some nuts and bolts that you put the bike together. But like I say, it does come with the tools. So um, almost like a full size banner. So you got a 13 and 15, 16, 17 and 19. So you got uh, 13, 15, 17, 19 spanner and a um, hexagon Allen key. So you got your handlebar and the instruction manual. And this is the main bike. And here we go. So that's, that's all the parts for your bike. But where's the pedals? Am I missing the pedals? Of course. Missing the pedal. Pedals is in here. So here's the pedal with a plastic cage. Now with this budget, usually you won't get any of the click, click system. So you'll be uh, relying on um, kind of a, this plastic cage. But the good thing is um, the pedal itself, they're usually a standard size, so you can always change it if you do want to keep the bike and you move on to the next level and you need a uh, kind of a removable clip system. <laughs> So now the bike is built, but it seems a bit wobbly because my flow is quite uneven here. So my last step is to make sure the feet here is extended a bit more. I think that is good on that side. The heart rate monitor is now covered with uh, blue film. So for it to measure um, the electrical signal from your palm, you do need to peel them off. This uh, CPU here doesn't seem to have any power because there's no battery. And this one here use a uh, kind of little lithium cell button battery. Even if you ride, I don't think... Yeah, it's nothing on the screen, so... Let me see, I should have some battery lying around. So you will need one of these uh, lithium battery. I don't know why they don't come with it. It's really, really cheap anyway. You can get it from Pound Shop or even cheaper online. This is CL2032. I mean, overall for 200 pound exercise bike, you might think actually you can get cheaper. Yes, you can get cheaper, but not magnetic uh, resistant. What I mean by magnetic resistant is that the older style of uh, exercise bike, they have a kind of a cotton or leather pad which touch the flywheel and because of the friction, uh, it gives you resistance. So you have to work harder to overcome the resistance. That's why um, you can adjust the, the amount of uh, effort that you put into uh, pedaling. Now with um, this one here, uh, the, and the reason why I picked this one to show you guys as a budget um, bike is that there is a row of magnets in the front. The magnet doesn't really touch the metal plate, so there's no uh, friction. It's just that how much magnet overlap with the metal here, which gives you the resistance. What is it in result is that it's a super smooth motion. And because it's a budget bike, you will find that you, uh, the flywheel is not that heavy, but because there is not much resistance, with the um, pad, you will be able to retain some of those energy in the wheel itself. So the more you twist, the more magnets touching, not touching, the more magnet will be um, overlapping with the metal plate. So now it's a lot harder to, to, to cycle, but still very smooth. So if you, Rotate this all the way down, give you the maximum amount of resistance. So to maintain the same speed, now you really need to, you really need to cycle. And this is where 
you spend a lot of your energy. Obviously this is maximum. <sighs> yeah, it's getting tired already. All right, so this is what a 200 pound exercise bike look like in 2022. I really like the magnetic resistant wheel thing compared to the friction pads that I had before. But obviously it's nowhere as good as a Peloton bike, which I have over there, which costs over like a grand or 1,800 for the plus. But saying that, this is nevertheless a very good exercise equipment for a cardio kind of exercise. And I explain to you why. I have it on the phone right here. So it's a, it's a cheap plastic mount here, but nevertheless it does work. Display here, uh, it will turn on once you start riding, but I don't know why it doesn't come with the battery. Uh, heart rate monitor, it does work when you grip it, it will show you the display. Um, the bike sits here, a wide base, which is very good for heavier individuals. And um, I have it kind of, uh, not completely tightened yet because I'm still figuring out what direction I want it to uh, point up down. You need to find out the way that you actually like it. Um, it has a funny kind of a, a hole here, actually gives some airflow into your crouch area, which to be honest with you, if you do take this kind of uh, exercise seriously, you will have crouch sweat. And um, we, have a, um, we have a plastic mat under the bike, not just to look nice, to actually catch all the drips. Adjustment wise, you have a uh, height adjustment for the handlebar right here. Um, you can see a stopper right there, so it can only go up or down that much. And the seat wise, it can um, move forward and backward. I will say if you're six one like me, then um, this is really, really stretching the limits on a comfortable ride. But nevertheless, it does work. And the mechanism wise is nice and quiet. To be honest with you, um, it does have a little bit of a belt noise. Um, it is actually driven by a belt, not a chain, like most of the modern um, exercise bike. If I turn it wheel, you will hardly hear anything at all. If anything, you will hear your huff and puff rather than the mechanical side of the thing. Here's the adjustment knob. If you press it down, it will give you a break in terms of uh, stopping the flywheel. So here you got the disc which actually spin and the resistance is actually coming from um, these brakes here. It doesn't touch the plate, but when you press down on the brake or when you twist the knob, what it does is it push down, you see the magnet coming down. So when it's in this position, the magnet overlap with the plate a lot more and that gives you the resistance. And uh, yeah, but I find that this kind of exercise bike with a relatively light uh, flywheel, um, it's not really for standing up or, you know, do your uh, spin class kind of a dance move and this like that. You just sit down and actually do your resistant exercises. For me today is a bit special because it's my 100 week of street going. And if I click on that, you will see that a 100 weeks of four times or three times a week of um, riding my uh, Peloton bike. And this is what keeping my weight down. So each ride is about... 300 to 500 calories, so times four, and that's how much energy I burn, and it's very good for my heart. I personally prefer a uh, exercise bike instead of treadmill, because a lot of the time I'll be sitting down and looking at my phone. I find it pretty boring if you just, um, you know, cycle and look at numbers. For example, let me jump on the bike while holding the camera. Now, for example, here, uh, this is your view if you are exercising. And once you start turning the wheel, you see the machine kind of a display come up. It gives you the basic information, like how fast you are riding, the uh, rounds per minute or revolution per minute. Your calories is just an estimate of what is uh, going. Distance is a uh, kind of an estimate as well. And P is for heart rate. So you need to hold on to both handlebar and give you heart rate. I don't know why I can do that because my hands are holding the camera, obviously. And um, a, a couple of the function what you can do is up and down on the calories. So let's say if you want to burn um, like uh, five, 500 calories, you actually have to click it 500 times. I don't know why, when you 
click and press it, it doesn't go up or down. When you're done, press enter, distance, enter. And then that's it. You just keep riding until the calories kind of go down. A bit of uh, self-discipline needed because like, you know, if you are just like this, not really moving for one hour or two hours, then you're just wasting your time. So find a comfortable resistance and just keep riding for an hour. And that helps you to uh, burn calories, increase your heart rate. In Peloton, they have something called a power zone ride. My watch is actually uh, connected to the phone. So I got my um, real heart rate anyway, so I don't need to use the heart rate monitor right here. And my understanding is uh, for a good cardio workout, even if you don't have those fancy gadgets, just make sure you exercise until you, uh, breathe, your breathing is a bit higher and you wouldn't want to uh, have a long conversation. Answers will be a short kind of yes and no answers and just don't talk to me. And in that kind of zone for about half an hour is what works for me. So here we are, exercise bike in 2022 for around 200 pounds. Go leave it in the comment section and tell me what you think. Good, bad, ugly. So if you ask me what's my opinion about this budget bike is that uh, it does work, it does work. I do like the magnetic uh, resistant, but what I find is um, I still find the, fly the flywheel a bit light. So there is a sweet spot of where it wants to kind of a circular motion as well as give you enough resistance. But miles, miles better than any of the felt pad resistant machine that I have used before. <sighs> Bit short of breath already. Um, what other things I tell you about? I, I don't like doing this. Can you see that it's bouncing too much, way too much. What I find is um, it doesn't have enough resistance for me to do a kind of a standing cycling, almost like my legs just drop. And I find it so hard that it's so hard to maintain the circular motion. It's almost like drag. This is like riding through mud. I don't like standing up on this, but sitting down, perfect. On maximum, I think if you manage to ride for 15 minutes, half an hour, you will kick up a big sweat. Whew. Whew. Thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye-bye.